Hey, Ghostbusters fans. Got something to show you here. It's the circuit that I'm working on for the Extreme Ghostbusters PKE meters. Um, what you're looking at here is a breadboard with a, an Arduino Pro Mini, uh, 5 volt, um, a uh, potentiometer, 10K, um, piezo speaker, and two 10 LED bar graphs, of which 16 LEDs will be used. Um, you know, right now, only this top bar graph is connected up. Um, and this actually is the bottom of one of the displays. Uh, this bar graph here, I just put there to go and um, give you an idea of how large the final display will actually be. So, um, I'll just... Uh, power it up here and uh, let you have a look at it. Um, oh, before I do that, um, one more thing I wanted to tell you about was uh, this display here is actually capable. Um, I've programmed it to, it can display multiple brightness levels and uh, so when I started up um, there's actually a fade in and uh, some of the LEDs, uh, the LEDs which aren't in use will light up but dimly so uh, it emulates the uh, cartoon a little bit better. And uh, the bar graph that it displays actually has a bit of a gradient to it. Um, so it's brighter up the top than it is down the bottom. Um, you probably won't be able to see this on the phone um, because the uh, it's, it's a phone. <laughs> and it's not a very good video recording program. Um, so the frame rate isn't that good, and you won't be able to see the animation perfectly. Uh, but this is the best that I can do, so I'll just uh, power it up here so you can have a look at it and uh, hear what it sounds like. Just a uh, moment here. And, uh, hold the phone and plug it in. It's kind of difficult. Now you may have uh, seen it fade in there. Just go to get that plugged in. So, uh, like I said, the uh, these top the LEDs up top here are actually lit. It's kind of hard to see in the uh, sunlight on the phone. But, um, so, let me uh, increase the speed here. Now, this is animating more rapidly than what you can see here on the phone. Uh, it looks like the bar is moving up and down kind of slowly on the phone, but it's actually moving really fast. And, uh, keep going. Increasing the speed. All the way up. Now, when the bar hit the top here, um, like it's maxing out, well, this is only one half of the bar display, so... Um, as you can see here, it should actually be twice as long, so you'd have a whole bunch of extra LEDs up here that I don't have in this circuit at the moment, but uh, they'll be in there in the final, in the final one. Sorry, I got things. Um, more so you can uh, see the, uh, the fade in maybe a little better. I think you can see that. Anyway, so that's what I've been working on and uh, just got a uh, box full of parts here from a uh, mouser today. Two hundred resistors there, and another two hundred, and another two hundred um, ICs, potentiometers, sockets for the air um, push button caps. What else we got here? Uh, rainbow ribbon cable. 
uh, various uh, battery packs, um, double A's and triple A's. Here's the uh, switches, the push button switches. Um, nine volt connectors. These are some uh, some better ones I found than those uh, cheap those cheap ones. These are uh, molded plastic. Um, another battery connector. This is for uh, six double A's to give nine volts. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the Extreme Ghostbusters PKE requires a, a lot of juice, so if I can get six double A's inside the PKE body, then uh, that would be uh, ideal. Um, the knobs. The, uh, for the top of the PKEs and the side of the Extreme Ghostbuster PKE and uh, some green uh, LED hats for the top of the Extreme antennas um, or piezo speakers and uh, oh here are some audio taper potentiometers. Um, I actually got these for the Extreme Ghostbuster PKE. Um, I'm going to hook the piezo speaker up through this um, and uh, make one of the knobs on the, uh, the PKE actually able to adjust the volume. So that's another uh, little extra feature for the Extreme PKE. <laughs> Um, so that's it, I guess. Um, so, uh, talk to you later.